Hey there everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me this week. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It will really help me out. I'm desperately trying to get to 500. And if we can crack that barrier, that'll really help. <laughs> Thank you so much. Now, on with this week's crazy work, starting with welding up the remaining stanchion bits. So we can finally see where we stand after the last couple of days. We have bolted and welded the stanchion mounts. So these can 100% be called done. I will create new ones, new tasks for once we've turned the boat around and we work on the rest of the boat. And if you recall, I gave myself 10 tasks to do to hopefully get done before the end of May. Uh, Galley bulge access. Yeah, it's basically done. I mean, it's uh, there's the new piece in place. Um, I think I just need to drill a hole so I can stick my finger on it to open it. So let's finish that. What else have I done? Fresh water flush. Now I have fresh water flushed, but as you know, um, I haven't added in the T, which I'd like to still do. After rail repair, I need to turn the boat around and install new hatch. Now, I have technically done that, but I haven't finished it. Uh, I still need to paint and fare, and that's been a delay because I don't have um, any fairing. But what else can we do? Sand and top coat the forward deck. Um, that's kind of linked to getting the uh, cleat in place. I think I can begin on that. Repair the coach roof leak. I don't think I'm going to get to that. I thought I might, but there's still time. Let's see. Install new port side portals. Right, so that would be this work. Now the reason this work has been sort of delaying is because of that repair that I need to do right at the end. And I have to remove and sand. I started sanding here. But there's still these little bits of uh, veneer that aren't coming off that I can't get to and I don't know how to remove it. Which is going to make everything look pretty bad. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. This I can do. Which is reconnect the raw water. Which I'm almost ready to do. And service the gearbox. Which I have already done last week. I can also sand and top coat the forward deck. 
So those will be the tasks for this week. Good morning. So it's a beautiful day. It's a Sunday and uh, I'm trying not to work on Sundays. But you can't, I mean, how can you not work on a day like today? We've, uh, we have so few of these beautiful days. Well, the reason I've come through today is this. Since I plan on moving the boat around in the next uh, week, I really do need to deal with this because this will be on the other side of the boat and it will get the brunt of the southeasterlies and the easterlies, which are rough around here. So I need to take this off. I need to take this off and I need to take it to Carolyn, who will then hopefully repair it somehow. So let's see how far we get with that. I'm going to need to locate some tools. Let's go. But first things first, I have been trying to deal with this water issue for a while, the raw water pump. So I finally got around to cleaning this all off and to take out the impeller. So this is my journey with a dodgy impeller. Um, since this, I've actually been looking around to see if I can't maybe get a whole new pump. There's nothing really wrong with the pump, but there are grooves and... Well, you'll see. It's, it's not the best condition. It'll probably work fine if I just replace the impeller. Um, but I'm thinking of a more permanent solution. So, yeah. <laughs> What is this? Where does it come from? But okay, uh, it's fine. Let's... So you guys must think I'm making this stuff up. <laughs> so we've just taken um, this piece off, the canvassing. Um, there are plans <laughs> to do all of this, but yeah, what, 20 minutes? <laughs> That's, that's how the weather goes around here. Uh, 
promise I'm not packing this stuff up. I literally came down to get so much done. So filled with hope. My hopes are dashed. But what I wanted to do today I've accomplished. So I've taken that off. I'm going to roll that up. Take it home. Carolyn's going to get busy trying to sew it a little bit. Try and fix it so that we've got something when we turn around. The zip on the far corner however has broken. And uh, we can't really fix that. So I think we'll just permanently stitch it all the way around until we can get to the point where we do the canvassing and that's like end of the year maybe because we don't have the time to do that yet and there's still painting that needs to happen and yeah I still have to replace the other window on the port side here like we did on this side a few uh, episodes back well sometime last year um <laughs> yeah <laughs> weather huh has it died so we managed to take this thing off now, and we're home, and Carolyn's, what are you doing? I am taking out the old zip and discovering that the thread has perished completely. So it would have been a matter of weeks before it went anyway. So to replace the zip, I've got to take the old one out, and then I will fit a new one. Yeah, and I remember a few years ago, you stitched all of this together. Oh yes, that was the hand repair. Yeah, just to keep it sort of from going. And since the boat uh, was the other way around, we never needed to come in and out of here. But now that we're turning the boat around, we need to come in and out of here. And then the plan is to replace the zip with a new one from your box of goodies, which you've got somewhere here. Yes, it's an interim measure because we will be making new canvas. However, until we can get to the point of the new canvas, we've just got to keep this one going. Yeah, new canvas is a while away. Although, we do have uh, some canvas here, but I don't know that it's enough. All right, old zip due to be removed and it's really terrible and a new zip ready to go on. Again, this is just temporary. This whole thing will get replaced. We'll make all new canvas. It's just to hold it together for the season. Yep. Hey boy. Hey guys, you've never met Diesel. This is Diesel. Diesel is 15 years old and he's got no idea what I'm doing with the camera in his face. But, we are about to start on the new zip. There we have it, in place. Um, I didn't hit record again every time I used this action camera. But uh, the zip works, the zip is nicely closed, and new zip is on, and it semi fits. Obviously, the corner is a problem, but we'll stitch that up tomorrow and just make it seamless. Let me take you outside. So, this is where the problem is, and we'll just stitch this closed tomorrow all the way down 
Here's a new piece of scrap wood I had lying around to hold this into place. And now when we turn the boat around, um, we can climb in and out of here without too much problem. Next up is this piece. It's arrived again so there'll be no sewing that piece on today and there's a bit of a heavy weather foul weather warning so it's also a uh, super moon so we have super high tide a super low tide so timing that that's okay because I think I'm pretty much done for this week thank you everybody for joining um, please subscribe if you come from somewhere and watch this video and even mildly enjoyed it I'm trying to get a 500 subscribers and it would be super great if I could do that. Um, so just hit a like, subscribe, leave me a comment, ask me questions and uh, I'll see you all next week. Thank you so much for joining. Bye bye.